Hey y'all, welcome back to Moments with Miss Amy. I am so glad you joined me. So today I wanna to talk about becoming new. What do I mean by becoming new? Well, years ago, there was a quote that we had heard. Uh, my daughter and I were at a uh, convention and we'd heard somebody make this comment and I don't recall now who it was, but it was crazy how much sense that it made. The quote that was said was, my tailor, is the only one who ever takes a new measure of me. And it was really incredible thinking about that one. And Georgia and I just kind of looked at each other like, wow, like how true is that? How often do we look at someone and not see the differences in who they were a few years back, a few months back, you know, whatever. And it's true, I mean, we just automatically you see someone and you look at them as if they are who they've always been, no matter what they've been doing to change. And looking at scripture, this is a scripture that really, I think, just brings it, hits it home. You know what I mean? Like, just it really explains it well. So this is in 2 Corinthians. It is 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So what's kind of neat with that is when we accept Jesus as our Savior, for those who are believers, um, it's really amazing because he actually, like, we become new. Now we are a believer. Now we can look at things different. We can look at things with hope. We can look at things through the mindset of Christ. And, and it makes us new in that we're not where we were, lost and, and you know unsure about what the future may hold for us and things. Now, it's not, yeah, because I became a believer, now I know everything that's going to happen in my future. No, 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 that's not it. But I do know that I'll never be alone, that I've always got hope. So now taking that and taking the scripture itself and it talking about how the old has passed away and the new has become, well, that's something that in our lives is something we can just apply, believers or not. Because realizing that I, the changes that I make in my life make me the person who I am, but like even better, if that makes sense. So for example, um, as you know, I'm really into personal development and leadership information and things like that. And those are areas that I grow in. And so I am not the me that I was years ago that, you know, didn't know how to respond to someone. If they came at me in a strong way, I would react, you know, and I'm going to react to what's going on. Whereas now I hope more often I take that, you know, a couple seconds, I do that breathing and I think to myself, okay, what is it they're really trying to say to me? I used to get offended like that. I used to get hurt like that. I used to get angry like that. Instant. It was just, oh, you come at me? Really? You know, and now I've learned because of the growth and things, wait a minute, what's really going on here? What is it they're really trying to say? And maybe they're just having a really bad day. Maybe they didn't mean to hurt my feelings. Maybe they didn't mean to say it that way. And so if you take that scripture, if you take the thought of we can change and become new, you can then apply it not only to how you look at other people, but also how you look at yourself. Now, sometimes we have a habit of we look at ourselves and, oh, I'm always late. It's just who I am. Okay, maybe that is who you have been, but you have the ability to not be that person. Now, I'm not talking like get rid of yourself and you're no longer that person. I'm talking what are the circumstances around it that have given you that persona that you are always late? What is it that you're doing? For myself, past videos have shared it and some of my blogs have shared it. I am notorious for putting too much onto my plate and expecting me to be able to cram two hours worth of stuff into 20 minutes, okay? And... Oh, did you catch that? I said, I am that person. Yikes, okay? I have been that person. So it is something that I am continually learning how to change and adjust. And that's the same thing for you. What are the things that you have that you want to be different in your life? 
because you have that ability to make those changes. Tomorrow, you don't have to wake up being the same exact person that you are today if you're not happy where you're at. God has given us the ability to create a new self-image, a new persona, just by making the decision to and then taking steps appropriately. So a number of my videos have talked about different things where you can change your life and, and different things that you can do to improve on your life. But I don't know that I've ever really touched on this part right here. You don't have to accept the summary of your life as being that is what your life is. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can change. You don't have to be a negative person. You don't have to allow yourself to feel like nobody loves me or that it's okay for me to, to struggle and, and stuff because that's, that's all I deserve. Baloney, baloney. You deserve so much more. You are worth so much more. So you need to start writing your story and not just writing it. You need to live what you are writing. And you need to stop looking at yourself as if you are who you were because you're not. Every day, either you're improving or you're not. So no matter what, you're still not who you were because you're either better or you're not. And you know what? There's no reason to not be better. There's so much information out there. There's so much help out there. There's so many helpful groups and so many things that can guide you in a direction. There's coaches. There's information online. There's so much that can help you to have that life you've always wanted, to be able to wake up in the morning with joy and happiness in your heart because you can do the things that you are called to do if you apply that. But if you don't, if you wake up in the morning and you just, oh man, another day. You know what? It is. It is just another day and you're wasting it. So stop. Wake up in the morning ready to go. And you know what? Don't even wait. Don't even wait until morning. Right now, in this moment, I don't care if you pause this video as soon as you hear what I'm saying, okay? Or finish the video and then get started with it, whatever. But you do not have to stay feeling discouraged, depressed, down, angry, that you are not worthy. You don't have to be like that because you know what? You are worthy. And whatever circumstances that are going on around you do not have to dictate your life. That doesn't mean if your parents have rules for you, if you're still living at home, that you don't have to follow those rules. No. Come on, listen to what I'm really saying, okay? What I'm really saying is, let's say that, for example, your parents do have rules. They do have guidelines. And you may not love them. Well, you know what? I don't care if you're six years old. At some point, you will become an adult and then it'll be your decision if you have those same exact rules or not. But right now, what's the best life that you can live within the parameters of whatever their rules are? Because you still can. There's no reason to live your life feeling like there's just nothing better. Because there is. We are so blessed. So, so blessed. And we can become new. Boom. Just like that by making the decision and moving towards it. No longer do you have to hold yourself trapped in a box saying that, oh, I'm always the shy and quiet one and that's just who I am. Well, you know what? You can change that. There are actually educational things online that you can research to help yourself reach out. But you know one of the best ways that you can change that one right there is serving others. When you step out and you quit focusing on self and you start doing for others, it's incredible how much you change and how you don't feel as shy and quiet and reserved. What about if you're the life of the party and you're so loud and you're so always doing stuff and you really don't like being that. You want people to actually look at you and talk to you and know that you're like super smart too then tune it down a little bit. What if nobody will come to you and tell you anything because they can't trust you? Well, you know what? 
Become trustworthy. Don't share all they business when they tell you something. You know, learn how to listen. Learn how to ask questions. Seriously, when I meet people, when people climb into my car, I ask them how they're doing. Because you know what? I really do care. I really do. And then I might ask them where they're from or what do they do or are they here celebrating? Things like that because I get them talking about themselves. When people get out of my car, they feel better and that's my goal. But you know what happens in the meantime? I learn to quiet it down. I learn to listen. I learn to ask those questions. And I'm not focused on me and maybe the pain that I'm in at the moment or whatever else because I'm focused on serving them. And I feel better and they feel better and it's a win-win. So I gotta tell you something else about being new and things being different. When I first started that scoliosis brace wearing it, like it was hard for me to remember to put it on and to have it for different things. Well, right now, my scoliosis brace is in the shop. I'm getting it back later today. All is good. It just needed some tweaks and some adjustments. But I'm going to tell you, I went to do my video and it's like, all of a sudden I'm thinking, oh my gosh, where's my brace? I don't have my brace. I can't do my video. What? Why can't I do my video just because I don't have my brace? But you know, it's crazy. When you start adopting habits, positive habits, or even bad habits, but you notice when you go to do something when that habit hasn't been done. So it's just one more part of creating the new you. Break those habits. Whatever they are, you can do it. I believe in you. So hey, drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and what new things you're going to change. And please make sure you hit like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that little bell so you get the notifications. And I want to thank you again for joining me for Moments with Miss Amy.